Welcome back, guys. Uh, JY Dog Mark here. Um, just want to make a little video about the uh, transmission tuning I've been doing and uh, how my truck runs now. Uh, it's one of the more uh, difficult things. Are one of the things that people have the most trouble with. It seems like is the uh, programming of the 5R110 uh, transmission in these um, F250 or F350 um, 08 models, 08 to 010. Um, a lot of times, a lot of it depends on uh, the tack signal, and you got to get a clean tack signal. Um, a few sensors. I, what I've done is I've left a lot of my sensors plugged in. You see my rat's nest of wiring right there. I've left a lot of the sensors still plugged in. Um, they they're not hooked up to anything, but they're into the harness um, because I wanted to do some testing before I start removing sensors. And um, let me just. Uh, let me just show you what I've done and how well it runs and you can judge for yourself you know if I'm heading the right direction or not but to me so far it seems like it's doing pretty well Okay, one of the things I've done is I use this SCT4 uh, tuner, and I've got it set um, for the 6.4 um, engine that was in here, and the, the tune is stock. Uh, I've got traction control is enabled, speed limiter is stock, and stock value for the tires. So I'll just go down here to approve. Transmission preloaded tune, 6.4 Super Duty. And here's where I can adjust the transmission tuning, the shifting. And I haven't, I haven't changed any of this. I'm using the stock tune that's on here. All I've done is, uh, you know, plug this in and get it up to date. I hooked it up to the internet and downloaded the latest uh, firmware for this and have that all up to date. And I'm able to program the uh, uh, stock transmission shift points and everything. That's wide open throttle shift which I haven't touched that at all. Oops, back. And you can adjust the shift up or down a couple miles an hour, it looks like. And let's see what we have. These are the different uh, trans tunes you can select from, which I haven't changed anything. Just left it to stock. And I wouldn't have bought this. I would have. Uh, I, I got this before it even started working on the truck. I knew I was going to probably need it to tune the transmission. So I've got everything set to stock here. And let me show you how it drives. Yeah, I need to bump my idle speed up, but I'm not going to do it until after I. Uh fix my oil leak. I haven't got my parts in for that yet. Steering probably needs a newer power steering pump on it. Man, it's like it gets stuck with the power steering. I don't know.
steering's a little little yanky in this thing. I don't know what's up with it. See, now it's steering fine. It's like the power steering pump doesn't kick in. I, maybe if I bump the idle up, I'll get better uh, power steering out of it. Brakes seem to work fine, though. Let's see if I get many boost. There's my boost. This is way different than my 5.4. That's the first time I've done that. This thing like, makes the perfect sound though. got a super low stall converter in here and it seems to be working perfect. I mean, right in the power band. I don't know if I'm actually doing 50 miles an hour or not. I, don't, I think that's wrong. I have to check that with my GPS to see. I've got 37s on here, so I imagine that's probably wrong. Look, 1700 RPM it shows. Yeah, like 1750. I don't want to mess with it. I'm, I'm telling you, I, I like the way it shifts. It steers weird. Let's see what's binding it up. before she runs out of oil. I never thought oil leak would be my major problem. Okay, that was different. Maybe it's because the transmission was cold that it was shifting like that before. really getting into it. like it's on uh, leaf springs. Alright, I'm gonna get on a little bit. Probably gonna pop the uh, intercooler lines off. I think I did. Doubt it. Poor wife uh, twisted her ankle the other day running. We had a 15k and she messed her ankle up pretty bad. Airstream. 
pedestrian, but see, it does not want to turn left. I don't know if you guys know what that could be. It's just going left. Man, I really hate to take the uh, pump off there because this thing runs too good, man. I hate to, I'm afraid I'm gonna mess it up. Oh well. And that's where I stand on that. You know what it looks like? That steering arm is just Ooh, I have made a mess. Hey, thanks for watching my channel. If you haven't subscribed already, uh, please do for future updates. Remember, build it, don't buy it.